Justin, how are you doing, my man? I'm doing so good. <laughs> so good. How are you doing? You know, I am hanging out, quarantined as ever. Here we are again, doing the trending show from separate from separate places, but we're getting it done. We're getting it done. We're getting it done, and I think we might have one more episode quarantined and then my guess would be that we're not gonna be quarantined after that. no that would be that would be great um that would be amazing um i i will tell you this i miss i miss that human interaction <laughs> yeah yeah dude let me tell you like my beard is looking so scraggly yeah. and you've noticed I've, I've been wearing a hat a lot because this is just getting longer and it doesn't know what to do and it's uh, thinning just, and so it just makes it even worse just cover it up just cover that up Bar- cover that the up. barber's closed dude the- <laughs> i need a barber man i need a barber so bad I need a barber it, se- oh. it seems like it'd be an essential service especially if you start getting Should rogue be. with the beard yeah yeah, yeah. It's crazy but anyway uh isolation solid. or not there's a solid list out there on youtube it never disappoints it doesn't man it never disappoints it- um I'll kick it off with this video, yeah. if you're good at that. It's a PSA from a doctor. And I like, so it, Jeff, Jeffrey Van Wigan, mm-hmm. Wingen is his name. And he's a family doctor. And I, in the video, he's like, listen, I'm a medical professional under a lot of stress. So please be nice in the comments. <laughs> yes. I love up. that part, dude. <laughs> I love that part. He's like, I'm not here for the BS. Just please be nice to me. I want to help you. <laughs> so he goes through the process of sanitizing your groceries after you get them from the grocery yeah. store. Yeah. Right. And uh, have you been doing this, Eric? You know what? We I had a grocery pickup two days ago. And prior to that grocery pickup, we, we watched this video. Nice. And it is... You said it. You said it best the other day of like, hey, I've always wondered what it was like, what it would be like to live in a science fiction movie. <laughs> and here we are. Here we, Here, are, we are. Here we and are, and we're—I mean, yeah—we we sanitized the counter. We sanitized. Yep. We brought the groceries in, brought them to the floor, brought yep. the, each piece of groceries out, and that's what he goes. Basically, is just a, the safest way of bringing yep. those outside things into your house because yep. you don't know who picked the groceries. You don't no. know if they're how they're feeling. You don't know how many other right. people walk through the store and touch those same items that are now inside right. of your house. So, um, right. just a really cool breakdown of of how to properly sanitize those items whether it's cardboard plastic or whatever um but it's just it's it's going back to the science fiction movie it was just it's a weird thing we're like wiping down our groceries and but i i you can't be you can't be too careful you know what i mean you cannot be too careful right right and the uh the, what has always grossed me out was produce because people mm. touch it. They're like, oh, that I don't like that. So I've been washing my produce pretty consistently, well, yeah. um, especially with little kids. They just want to grab it and eat it. Um, but uh, the rest of the stuff, I liked his cereal box hack. He's like, don't even wipe this down. Just open just it up and yeah. put the bag in. That was solid. Yeah. We did that. We had some hard shell tacos. And you just pop them out. They're in a plastic container already. Just get oh, rid of that yeah. box. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good tips. Definitely highly recommended if you are, you know, doing the grocery delivery, grocery pickup thing. Um, really good pointers in there as far as just keeping things clean. You know what I'm saying? I would say this is a must watch. Everyone should watch this yes, video. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Next on the list is Pantry Raid Hot Saltine Hack Edition by Alton Brown. <clears throat> Alton is just like. He's always been a quirky dude on Food Network, you know what I mean? As far as like Food Network chefs, he was the one who was like very, uh, almost like scientific, almost like Bill Nye-esque, but like with food, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so um, I hadn't, I wasn't familiar with his series. He has a whole channel with like, like this pantry raid series, which is just great. And especially like given the, given the times like that we're living in now is like, you're, you're raiding your pantry and you're trying to, trying to make a thing. Anyways, he makes these hot saltine crack like hot uh crackers out of saltines come on everybody knows that a saltine is just like pretty bland and like it i call them like saliva saliva killers (laughs) it's just like making concrete in your mouth (laughs) (laughs) but he jazzes them up and he makes them he makes like a spicy saltine it looks delicious it looks delicious i might have to try it i might have to go on a little pantry raid binge and start making all these little recipes you know what i'm saying yeah, they look so good. <laughs> they look so good. All right, next up is on Machine Gun 
Kelly's channel, mm. and he's jamming out with Travis Barker. Yes, they play sir. Paramore's uh, Misery Business, and this is a catchy tune, man. I, I've always enjoyed this song. Um, I love Paramore, man. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. It's no, fun. no, I'm a it's sucker. Fun. I'm always, I've always been a sucker for some diva vocals, uh, yeah. and when those diva vocals can can mix in like that, like punk alternative genre. Yeah. I'm sprung, dude. So I've I'm I've been a, I've been a Paramore fan for a long time, and then you throw Travis Barker's drums with Machine Gun Kelly, <sighs> who's guy. just a you know a great a great artist. Um, oh, it was just good. It was good, and it's like they're obviously doing it from quarantine. Machine yeah. Gun Kelly's filming his vocals and his guitars over here, and and uh, Travis is at his house. Like, so cool. So legit. So legit. I really enjoyed this. And I don't know the history of the song or what the song's about necessarily, but mm-hmm. but um the um singer of Paramore stopped playing the song. Oh really? A few years ago. I, I know the band broke up or took a hiatus, mm-hmm. but there there was a show where she's like, This is the last time I'm ever gonna do this song. I I don't know if it had to do with the Me Too movement or something, oh, but yeah. Interesting. They so interesting. when I saw a new version of this track, I was like, Yeah, dude, yeah, <laughs> I'm all about it. No, and then we great. have Travis Barker. Dude, Travis Barker is one of the greatest drummers. And um and not only that, he's just a he's just a a dude who's um been through some things, like mm-hmm. experienced quite a bit. So first of all, let's talk about drumming because I I am a drummer. I uh I am I I love playing drums. Um and I've been playing drums for years and Travis Barker has always been like a staple drummer. It's like, dude, if he does something, I watch it. And yeah. what's crazy about Travis Barker is he's not um, in these in these years like he still does the Blink One Eighty Two thing, but um, in these years he's uh, his drumming he 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 collabs with hip hop artists. Yep. He does a lot of stick tricks now. He does a lot of like traditional drumming, just like snare drum stuff, and uh, just so clean and so technical and just like a master of the craft, a master Indeed. of the craft, and. Uh, and he just looks cool doing it, and um, and and when and then so that's him as a drummer. But then when you look at it as a person, yeah. the dude, uh, the dude's a vegan, I think, or yep. or he eats he eats very. I think he's a vegan. Okay, uh, eats very clean. He's like very uh, conscious about his diet. Uh, exercises, very fit dude. Um, I think he's I think he's like sober. I think he yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think don't think he does yeah. any of that stuff, and. Um, I don't know. Just a cool guy. Just a cool, talented dude. A tidbit I learned from his interview with Joe Rogan is that he won't fly anymore because he was in an right. airplane crash. Right. Which um, I'd be okay if I never flew again. Um, <laughs> uh, just the people and the germs and the turbulence. I'm not a fan. I do it. I do it. I, you know, I do it. Yeah. But, yeah. I just, but like, so Joe's like, how do you get to like England? I, th- I think he was like, dude, you just you were just in London or something. And he takes a boat. Really? He takes a boat. A boat ride. Yeah. What kind of boat? Probably a yacht, right? Like something so nice. So there's, there's, a, there's a Queen Mary uh, that goes, I think there's a couple Queen Marys that go back and okay. forth from like New York to, to England. Um, but yeah, it takes some time. Dude. Yeah, I was going to say, how, like, that's like, how long does that take? I think a week. I was going to say, that's not like a speedboat. It's not just like, no. 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 And no. it's like, you have to have a lot of fuel to be able to make it that far. And, yeah. and those big boats yeah. with a lot of fuel don't move very fast. Right. So, and I think he takes his kids on a lot of these things. Um, that's so cool. Which that's so I cool. And he's, a, that. he's a dad. There we go. He's a dad. Another he's a dad. add it to the list of Travis Barker. I am a dad and I have a dad. <laughs> well, dads, dads, man. Hashtag dads. Hashtag dads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, next video I want to chat about scaring Kevin Hart with a snake this is on Mm. david dobrik too uh david dobrik who we've talked about on the show numerous times because his content is just so good and so funny is always making it onto the trending list uh he (laughs) he's filming a he's filming a a different show with kevin hart so kevin hart has a youtube show called what i think it's called what the fit right or something like that i think so Yeah, yeah and uh and so uh, this is just like a, a a side clip where he he's like, "Hey man, you have a game, you have your show is called What the Fit. I have like a you know a mini show on my channel called What What the Sniff. I think he, <laughs> he calls it. So um, apparently Kevin Hart is terrified of snakes. Yes, terrified. Yes. And uh, and so he gives him a 
he puts a blindfold on Kevin Hart and he's like, hey, smell this. He gives him a Kleenex box with a thing in it. It's an orange, right? And he smells it. He's like, I think that's an orange. Gives him a second thing to sniff. And while he's giving him the second thing to sniff, this snake handler comes into the backseat of the car with a giant, oh, like, Britney huge. Spears boa constrictor. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's trying to guess the sniff thing. He's like, oh, man, that was it. That was the game. It was stupid. You can take your blindfold off. <laughs> he takes his blindfold off, and he freaks out. He freaks out, man. He freaks out. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's just snakes, though. With Kevin Hart, I've seen him on other things, and I. I, I think it's an, a wild animal thing. That okay. He doesn't want to touch it. He doesn't want to get near nope. it. He'll start swinging if it gets too close. <laughs> like, yeah. It's, so I saw that thumbnail. I was like, dude, I have to watch this oh, because yeah. he he freaks out. But well, he handled it well. He didn't get upset. He's just like, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. He did. He did a good job, and he's just hilarious. In general, oh, like just a, yeah. a comedian, and he's just a little over the top. So, like, yeah. uh, when you get when you get someone like that in a real life reaction, it's just yeah. it's just like super funny. You know what I mean? So, did you watch the um, Netflix documentary with him of him? I did not watch it. It's pretty good. I need to check it out. It's I need to check, no, I've been. I've I been. We it. we just did the Tiger King thing, so you know that's been <laughs> that's been. Uh, <laughs> That's been oh, what how is that been not on the trending list yet? I don't know. I like there is so much Tiger King memes and so many like I feel like it's all anybody's talking about. It's got to be yes. It's it's got to jump up on here some at some it's point. Coming. It's coming. It's coming. All right. So the next video is one that is uh, something everyone's talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, this video is by Devin Carroll, and it, it's about the stimulus check that many families are going to get, and uh, he breaks it down. You mm-hmm. know. Depending on how many kids you have, how you file, um, what your annual income is, either last year or the year before, or not last year, but actually your 2018 taxes mm-hmm. or your 2017 taxes. Um, and he breaks it down in really um, mm-hmm. black and white terms. And it's a funny thing because, you know, when you do your taxes and you owe nothing, you're like, yeah, dude, yeah, I don't owe anything. I don't owe anything. <laughs> And, and, you know, you keep your income as if you're self-employed, you try to keep your income right, as low as yeah. you can so that you don't owe a lot of taxes. But then when it comes to getting a car loan or a home loan right. or a stimulus check, sometimes it can bite you in the butt. <laughs> Very true. So Very it, true. Yeah, we're that we it's definitely a weird thing for us being self-employed. You know what I mean? Like yep. uh, we just we don't have your typical W-2s and all that type of stuff. So um, it's cool that that he's out. Uh, this guy created this video uh, for all Americans just to kind of take a look at it and say like, okay, here's, here's those thresholds. If you made this or more than this or less than this, if you have kids, those types of things. Um, but I think it's a, uh, I think the stimulus is definitely a going to be a good thing. That's going to help a lot of Americans. You know, I agree. <clears throat> um, there was some misunderstanding. Some folks thought it was monthly. This is a one-time thing. Right. Um, they could do it again, but as of right now, as I understand it, this is a one-time payment. Yeah. And uh, it's not going to be enough if we're quarantined month after month. Right. After month. It's true. But... It's but true. we shall see. <laughs> I think I think that's like the, the phrase of the of the times is we shall see. Yeah. Time will well, tell. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Hope I have enough toilet paper and canned right. goods. Right. Next up on the list from my dude Phil DeFranco. I love this guy. Right. I love this guy. So good. An unexpected apology. Uh Charlie D'Amelio, coronavirus challenge, last minute stimulus problem, and so forth. Um Phil, I'll talk about the creator. You could talk about what what's happening in the video. So, Phil, yeah. I just love Phil, um, and I've, I've I've watched Phil for years, and yeah. I'm happy to see him on the trending list uh, this week. So, his what I love about Phil is that he is he is no BS. He's he's facts, right? He gives right. you the facts. He gives you both sides of the story. And right. he, you know, does his best job to not be biased in any way. He gives you both sides of the story, and then he gives you his opinion. Right. And I've just always found great value in his content. And um, but he's talking about news issues. He's talking about uh, obviously coronavirus. A lot of YouTube celebrities and those types of things. Um, right. But I just appreciate this guy as a creator. Yeah, I had to say it. I had to say it. Yeah. No, it's true, man. Likewise, uh, do you recognize the guy on the left? On the I thumbnail? sure do. And what did he do? Do you remember so what he said? So this guy, 
uh, the clip the clip is of him, I think, in Florida, like yeah, Miami so. or something, uh, talking right. about this is my spring break. Like they can't steal this from me. I, I, I don't care what they say. We came here to party. We're going to get it done. We booked this like three months ago. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was he has issued a what what appears to me to be a sincere apology for his naivety yeah, uh, yeah. back then. And, for, and uh, it, it's kind of cool how it all kind of came around because, uh, I don't know, I'm always a sucker for a good redemption story, right? Absolutely. Like, like he was kind of the uh mockery of oh, society man. he was like you know he didn't represent his generation very well no nah, but now he's job. like you got and he didn't have to he didn't have to apologize right. he could have just moved on with his life and we would have forgotten but uh it was a good like heartfelt like my bad guys we need to be safe and there still are people who aren't taking this seriously right yeah. There's people locally who are like, the government's not going to tell me what to do. Yeah. And they're, they're silly for that. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I don't think you, especially, you know, you have a guy like this who <laughs> once the, <laughs> once the margaritas wore off, he was like, Oh yeah. crap, that was, that oh, was my tough. bad. But, uh, I think that I, there's, there's too many people out there who think you can't take this serious enough. Like right. that, right. that, uh get it whether they whether they get sick themselves or they uh have seen someone else they know get sick or um i mean i it's you just you got to take it seriously and and the and the one thing is like the the longer we say like screw that i'm going to do what i want the longer it's going to be here the longer we're going to keep spreading right. this thing so right. uh yeah i think um i think i think it's yeah, we all just need to pay attention to how serious this thing really is. Just stay inside. <laughs> just stay inside. Watch Netflix. Watch YouTube. Well, the thing, too, is like if you think that it, this is politicians trying to hold us down, just watch the videos from nurses and doctors who are freaked out and overwhelmed mm-hmm. by the cases coming in the hospitals. Man. Right. That'll change your mind. Yeah. They're the ones in the front line like treating people and yeah. putting themselves at risk. And uh, I mean, e- and even just reading stories of people who are genu- generally healthy in their mid 40s that end up getting it, just hearing their experience of like, holy crap, this sucks. Yeah. Like, like I thought I was going to die. And yeah. then also the people who are treating it and all those types of things. Like, just let, I don't, I don't want any Ooh. part of it. You know what I mean? I, I will that. do I whatever that, I have to do to right. not spread this thing. And if that means right. hunkering down, sitting in my house, I'm, I'm going to do it. You know, the microphone uh, you're you're talking on. Uh, I know you know this. I'm just sharing it with the audience. <laughs> I delivered to your house. I sanitized it. I sanitized it. Left it on Eric's driveway, and then, like Rapunzel, he opened up his window <laughs> <laughs> on the second second floor of his house. He's like, "Hey, man." I'm like, "What's up? You good? Yeah, you good." <laughs> That's how we did it, man. We're... That's how we did it. And that was one of three times that I've left my house in the past twelve days. Yeah. Yeah, and and I I will say just like from my second story, looking down at you in the driveway, I was like, man, it is so good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen humans other than the ones that are related to me. Yeah, uh, that yeah. and yeah. So, anyways, just just stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, everybody. Please, please. All right, next up on the list is a video from Colin Furs. So good. And it, the video is called Backyard Bunker Tour Update Five Years On. So, so Colin built a bunker, underground bunker in his backyard. So good. Dude, I want one. I want one so bad. Like, go ahead. Digest it, it, No, man. everyone Tell needs me. to watch this video. Yeah. And then everyone needs to donate to me to help me get one in my backyard. <laughs> Dude, this thing is insane. It's soundproof. It's waterproof. It, uh, it, it's been five years. It hasn't leaked once. Yeah. He sets fires in there. I mean, he's done so many things in there. It's, it's crazy. And this guy is this guy's clearly, we talked about him a couple weeks ago. He, he's the one who built the screw tank. Um, oh, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. Same, same guy. So um, he is very uh, uh, not, not crafty. These aren't crafts. These are, he's very, uh, um, mechanically like he just, he's a, yeah. he can create, he's, he's very industrial. Like it's cool. Right. Um, he, go, he, so yeah. So this bunker he built five years ago 
And I think the best part is when he's like, yeah, I built this five years ago because you never know when you're going to need one. And, you know, he's obviously delivering this video right now in the middle <laughs> of the coronavirus, uh, which is great. Um, right. But he goes through, he, sh- he, he kind of recaps the process of how they built it. And, and this thing is steel. It's covered in cement. It's underground. You don't even know it's there. The access right. point is a shed from his backyard. Um, dude, it's so sweet. It's so rad, dude. It's so rad. Uh, you know what he should do? He should sell his house and not tell anyone about the bunker. Right? Oh, yeah. Just sell the house. And then one day, little 12 year old Timmy's going to go in the shed to get the lawnmower out and he's going to find a door. Yeah. He's going to see this and hatch. He's, he's like, what's He's going to open it and he's going to discover this amazing bunker. Yes. And the question is will Timmy tell his parents about it or will he keep it to himself as his own, like, clubhouse? Dude, if I were 12 and I found a bunker, that's my bunker. Dude. No one needs to know about that no bunker. No one needs to know about it, dude. <laughs> no one needs to know about it. Lived down there for a year, dude. You know, incredible. He's got his drum set down there, dude. He's got a. He's got a couches. He's got. I mean, uh, he's <sighs> he's filmed music videos down there. He's like, dude. it's perfect. There's no road noise. There's no wind. Right. There's no nothing. It's just quiet. It's contained. It's got like three feet of cement around it. Um, Dude, so cool. Everyone needs to check this out. Everyone needs to donate to Justin's Bunker Fund. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Though, I don't know if I would actually want a bunker because, like, what could happen that you would want to hide from and then live through the aftermath of? True. Nuclear bomb lands in your city, boom. You know, nuclear fallout everywhere. You're hidden in your bunker. Do you, do you really want to go out? Mm-hmm. Side, like yeah. you know or or um a volcano you know super volcano i've thought about all these things oh yeah um explodes and then you have the ash everywhere and there's three inches of ash everywhere and people are suffocating do you i don't know man do i want to live in a three inches of ash you've thought about know. you thought about all these things because you had to write them in the in the gofundme portion yeah, of like right. what is that's right yeah <laughs> yeah For zombie apocalypse donate. i'm good man i i'm good <laughs> Yeah, just I'm good. Just go out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't prolong but I still want one. I still want I a still want I want one. Oh, I like the sure. idea of it. For yeah. sure. For sure. I mean, he says he watches races down there. Like like Dude. Like man the cave. ultimate man cave. Literally right. underground man cave. Steel enclosed. Like that's so it. So rad. That's it. That list was so epic. Hmm. Such a good list. Such a good list. And you know what, man? I I'm happy that we're keeping this going. Uh, definitely from separate houses like it's still there's there's still content out there to watch and it's just uh it's fun to it's fun to have these these conversations and to talk about creators and and the awesome videos that are on youtube and hopefully everybody out there watching is is taking advantage of this time at home to scroll that trending list you know what i mean scroll that trending list man always all the trending list always good things always Eric, it was a blast. Uh, virtual high five to you. Woo! All right. And everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give us that thumbs up and subscribe and click that bell notification. And you could also uh, rate us on your favorite podcast platform. Just search for Trending Show. Go for those five stars, my friends. Five stars. All right. See you guys next time. See ya. Bye.